There's a number of factors that go into how, uh, as a government, we decide uh, who should be here. And, and by the way, I think it's important uh, at this point to draw a distinction between who gets to be here for a short period of time, uh, somebody who comes here as a tourist, uh, and somebody who actually gets to be here for a much longer period of time, more like actually living here. Um, but there are basically laws uh, that govern uh, who can come here. It's either uh, because you have a family member uh, who can be your parent, uh, it could be your spouse, it could be your fiancé, uh, it could be your adult children, and that uh, those people are U.S. citizens and they ask for you uh, to, to be brought here. That's one very large category. Uh, of people who are allowed under the law to come here. And then the other big category is what we call employment-based. Uh, it's based on your job, uh, and it's based on a number of decisions that the law has made about uh, different categories of jobs that we will allow to come here to the United States, either because people in those jobs are lacking in the United States, uh, or because the job that you have is so unique and special that there isn't really somebody in the United States uh, who does that kind of job. So those are big categories. Uh, the other big one is something called refugees, uh, and that's people who are subjects uh, of persecution or they're afraid of persecution uh, in the country that they come from, and so they ask uh, for permission to come to the United States in order to get out of danger, basically.